In this video, I will show you how to perform nonparametric statistics for multiple related samples, as well as how to perform nonparametric statistics for multiple independent samples. Nonparametric tests do not require the assumption of normality and are commonly used in situations such as small sample, categorical binary ordinal data, or when normal distribution cannot be assumed. We begin by looking at multiple related samples. Origin provides the Friedman ANOVA analysis for multiple related samples. We're looking at some data here where ophthalmologists are investigating whether helium neon laser therapy works for children. They've collected data from two groups, 6 to 10 year olds and 11 to 16 year olds. Each data set contains a study of five persons' naked eye eyesight difference after three periods of therapy. We're going to open the Friedman ANOVA dialog by selecting statistics, nonparametric tests, Friedman ANOVA, and open the dialog. For the data range, we're going to choose the 6 to 10 year olds. The factor range is the therapy period, and the subject range is the persons column. We click OK. From the generated report, we can see the p-value. At the 0.05 level, there is sufficient evidence to reject the null hypothesis. All treatment effects are zero. We can then say that the eyesight of 6 to 10 year olds kids is better after three periods of therapy. Let's carry out the same analysis now for the 11 to 16 age group. So again, we open the Friedman ANOVA dialog. The data range this time is going to be the 11 to 16 year olds. The same columns for factor and subject. Factor is the therapy period and subject is the person column. We click OK. We get a, another report sheet. We can see the p-value is 0.02599 which is less than 0.05, so we can also conclude that the eyesight of 11 to 16 year old kids is better after three periods of therapy. Let's compare both reports. The degrees of freedom values from both tests are equal, so we can compare the chi-square values between each age group. The value is larger for the 6 to 10 year olds, which means that the helium neon laser therapy works better for this age group. We can conclude that the earlier children are involved in therapy, the more their eyesight can be improved. We continue now by looking at multiple independent samples. In this example, the gas mileage of four car makers are measured. Several experiments are carried out for each car maker. We want to evaluate whether the gas mileage of the four car makers is equal and which one is the most efficient. Origin provides two methods for multiple independent samples, the Kruskal-Wallis and the Moods median test. You also have the option to run the two methods simultaneously. If I click on Statistics, Nonparametric Tests, we're going to do the Kruskal-Wallis ANOVA test. I choose to open the dialog. In the dialog, our data form is raw, so we need to change that from indexed. We have separate columns for each car maker. And then the input then needs to be all columns. So we choose that from the flyout. And then we can click OK. We'll see here from the p-value, we can conclude that the, that the gas mileage of the four car makers are significantly different. Now in the results, from the rank table, we can conclude that infinity is the most efficient one. This concludes this video. Thank you for watching.